All right, here we go. Today's workout, we're working on uh, some rotational clean and presses. So if you did the workout last week, Friday, we're doing very similar movement. Uh, we're just gonna add on a little bit more advanced variation for it. So you can do it either way, similar as last week, or a little bit more advanced variation. So what we're doing is we're doing a kettlebell clean and press with rotation. So you're gonna be rotating as you clean, you'll rotate as you press, and you'll come back the same way. So you're gonna do five reps on one side, so five reps on one arm. Then you're gonna do some walking swings. You're gonna do one arm walking swings. So it's just like you're doing a regular walking motion, but it's gonna be a very robotic type of movement, emphasizing that swing as you step, and then swing again, coming back as you step. So you do your walking swings. Then you're gonna do the other side. So you're gonna do left side rotational clean and press, left side walking swings. Then you're gonna do your five reps right side, clean and press, five, or uh, then you're gonna do your right side walking swings. The swings, you wanna to try to go about 10 to 15 yards with that. So depending on how much space you have, uh, try to get as close to that as you can. <clears throat> All right, so I'll go through the movements for our clean and press. It's so basically the way you're gonna do it is you're gonna be in a staggered stance. So if you're doing your right hand, your left foot should be forward, your right foot should be back. So the easiest variation is just that staggered stance. You start the kettlebell in your hand and you're gonna pivot as you clean. So you're gonna do that clean motion as you do that. You're gonna turn your hips and you're gonna face the other way. So you're still gonna be in a staggered stance, but now your right foot is forward, your left leg is back, and you have that right hand with the kettlebell. Then you're pressing to go back the other way. So press off with that right foot, extending that leg, twisting back, bringing that kettlebell straight up overhead. So again, you're gonna get that rotational movement. Then you're just gonna come back the same way. So you're gonna rotate back down, kettlebell back to the shoulder, rotate back, bring it back down to that dead position. <clears throat> so that's the basic movement for this uh, workout is that rotational clean, press, coming back. So the easier variation is just in a staggered stance. So nice, something nice and comfortable, stay on the ball of the feet so you can pivot on those feet. And you're gonna clean it up, rotate. You're gonna press, rotate, extend that back leg, get some power through that back leg. Then you're gonna come back down, rotate back down with the shoulder, back down to the dead positions. Again, clean it, rotate, press, rotate, re-rack, rotate, drop it, rotate. So that's the easier variation. More difficult, same idea, you just can start from a kneeling position. So start with the kettlebell dead on the ground. You're still gonna get that <coughs> clean and rotation, but you're gonna rotate to your opposite knee. So you're gonna clean, rotate, so now you're gonna get that kneeling position on the other side. Now you're gonna come up, rotate, into that lunge position. Then you're gonna come back down to your knee, and then you're gonna switch to the opposite side. So again, clean, drop back to the knee. Extend as you press. Come back down, and switch it back up, back to that front knee. So again, you're doing five on one side, and you do the same thing, five on the other. So you're gonna clean that kettlebell up, Drop to your knee, full extension, drop down, and finish back on the ground. <clears throat> so again, walking swings, then in between your, your clean and rotate. So the swing is just like a regular swing of your arms when you walk. So you're gonna have opposite hand and foot, opposite hand and foot, stepping, 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 exaggerate that movement. So it's like I said, very robotic. So you're gonna swing and step, you're gonna pause. Get that extension on the hip as you swing and step, and bring it back. Then you're gonna swing and step, again, driving forward. Swing and step, drive you back. Start off, nice and easy. Regular walk, you don't have to get much swing. 
Just a little bit of a swing, just to kind of get used to that movement. Same idea if you're going to the other side. Left to right, as you swing back, left foot steps, as you swing forward, right foot steps. As you feel comfortable, try to get more power in your swing. So really drive that hand up, get that extension through the hips, get a slight pause. Foot should come down as that bell reaches the top of your swing. Use that opposite hand, just like you're walking. Bring that elbow back as you walk forward as you swing back. So those are two movements for the workout. It'll be 25 minutes as many rounds as you can. So again, five reps on your right, walking swings on your right, five reps on your left, walking swings on your left, as many rounds as you can get. Any questions, let me know. Let's have a great workout. Let's go, let's go.